time today. Aku po si G Tanji. We've got a very special episode because we have the best of our community and what we can offer to all of you, to the rest of the world. FPAC is here, the FPAC family. <laughs> For those who don't know what FPAC means, uh, we have some of our board members here. Uh, Alfie is here with us and Winston Imano. Para sa mga taong hindi alam, what does FPAC mean? Alfie? FPAC means community. Um, I came into FPAC in 1999 as a performer first. Mm -hmm. I didn't learn any of my Filipino culture in schools. I knew what it was to be Filipino in the family, but I had to seek it outside. And luckily, there's a venue for a place where all these genres, uh, different types of talent, different types of backgrounds um, in the Filipino community can come together and share their stories. So that's what I've learned. I've learned my community. I've learned about culture through the arts. Mm -hmm. um, it's an amazing, amazing event. Yes, yeah, so mm -hmm. FPAC, Festival for? Festival of Philippine Arts and Culture. Mm -hmm. Okay, Fe yan ang ibig sabihin ng FPAC. Para <laughs> hindi nyo, para, kasi baka hindi nyo alam, di ba? I have been uh, very fortunate to be part of FPAC for a number of years, courtesy of Winston, who has invited me. And it seems to be the biggest venue where Filipino Americans just congregate and share uh, so much talent on that stage. We want to let you know this is all volunteer folks, which speaks very highly of our community. Winston, yeah. um, how many years are we going strong now? Well, gee, this will be our 24th year, 24 unbroken years, which uh, if you look at the history of Southern California, it doesn't seem a long time, but for a community as underrepresented as ourselves, it's an eternity. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's been a blessing. It hasn't always been smooth sailing, but I think it's through the determination to the effort and just the sheer will of the community that we're here 24 unbroken years. Yes, uh, th wow, that's a legacy in itself. 24 years of staging this festival and a lot happens during these festivals. I mean, you have uh, Filipino food, you have community, you have people that are performing. This year, we're very excited to present some yes. of the artists. They are here. Let's introduce them. Please, Karen, introduce yourself and what you're gonna be doing. Hi, my name is Karen Joyce. Um, I'm a singer, songwriter, and musician. I'm performing at this year's FPAC. All right, Morgan. Uh, hi, my name is Morgan Ashley. I will be performing originals along with some old school throwbacks. So, yeah. Wow, uh, Morgan, <laughs> you remind me a little bit of my mom and Diana Ross for some reason. <laughs> 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 They're so beautiful. This is your first year at FPAC. It is. It is. I'm very excited. I'm very excited to be part of this community, and I love the diversity and get, getting to learn everything about my culture, it's, it's very empowering and I, I'm excited for it. Okay, mm -hmm. wonderful, let's move it on to Francesco. What are you going to be doing? Hey, I'm Francesco. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll be playing violin with Karen for the festival. Oh, wow, a little bit of classical there, all right. And of course, we have with us, please introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Louise Marie Cornelius. I'm a classically trained soprano and I'll be singing some traditional Filipino songs, some Broadway, um, and it's gonna be my third FPAC actually, and I'm very, very excited to be back. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, um, can I give you the microphone? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> All right, let me, just, let me just pick it up again. Okay, Louise, tell us what you're going to be doing at this year's FPAC. Hi, I'm Louise Marie Cornelius. I'm a classically trained soprano, and for this year's FPAC, which is gonna be my third year, I'm very excited. I'll be singing some traditional Filipino songs, some, uh, some Broadway uh, musical songs, and I'm very excited, I'm very excited. Okay, and of course, we can't forget about William in the back. <laughs> William, what are you going to be doing this year? Hi, my name is William. I'm going to be accompanying Karen this year at the FPAC. All right. Okay, so a lot is going on this year. You've had a lot of big acts that have been part of FPAC, like Apple the App, mm -hmm. Gab Valenciano, all these amazing artists that are really representing the best of who we are, right? But we also have lots of other things to look forward to. What are the other events that you've done in the past that are very notable that you want to speak about? Well, uh, you did mention some, some, some big names. Leia Salongo is also uh, a performer at FPAC. But we're also proud, G, of launching folks, mm -hmm. introducing acts to the community. I think a good number of, of the talent that's here today are going to be performing at FPAC for the first time. So in, in effect, it's a de their debut for the community. And you know we've had some pretty big names that have gone on to do bigger things. Uh, and their first foray into community was at FPAC. 
Okay, so how can people get involved? Because I know that FPAC is always looking for volunteers. And I encourage uh, yung mga nanunood ng mga kababayan, if you have people that want to um, understand how how important art is to represent our culture, I suggest you tell your mga kamag-anaks to please volunteer because it's a chance for one, them to get to know the people in their community, two, to be surrounded around really talented people that are making a name for themselves, not just for themselves, but for the community. That's a big responsibility, isn't that? Absolutely. And then Alfie and I are, are, are indeed board members. We are volunteers here. But we are merely shepherds for this, this thing that really the community owns. Every year, people ask, who owns FPAC? Mm -hmm. Who benefits from FPAC? And we always tell people, look to your right, look to your left, look behind you, and look in front of you. And you've just met the owners of the festival. Mm -hmm. This is 100% by community for community mm -hmm. and and this is basically our showcase it was started by a group of you know very progressive minded filipino americans artists uh, who decry the lack of open stages to showcase the wealth of of talent that's inherent in our community um, and featuring multiple disciplines be they music be they song be they visual artists like mm -hmm. alfie here there was just a lack of space, so we decided, well, why not create one where none exists? And 24 years later, we're still here. Yes, but let's talk numbers because mm -hmm. <laughs> we're talking hundreds and thousands over the years have been to FPAC. Uh, I was there when it was in San Pedro, mm -hmm. it was a two-day festival, mm -hmm. over 15,000 people going to San Pedro, you know, to celebrate Philippine culture. I mean, if that's not historic, I don't know what is, right? And then last year, it was at Grant Park, right. a new venue, mm -hmm. different feel, but still a lot of people came through, even though it was hot, you know, right. now it's going to be cooled down a okay. bit, right? <laughs> But a lot of people come through for this festival. Why do you think uh, uh, throughout all these years people continue to support it? Alfie? It really is, um, like, like Winston said, it's a festival for the community, by the community. Um, some of the artists have come up to me and what they love about FPAC is that our event has soul. It's, there's something authentic about our, our, our venue that we are able to nurture true stories, stories from the community onto the stage. And witnessing this, I, I love seeing families grow up. I've seen people who have been in high school, who are now in college, who graduated from college, who comes, come back to FPAC to give back to the community. So we're pretty much, we're multi-generational um, and we're family. So one of the things that um, you know, one of the things that we want to do is to, to is to continue to nurture those connections and to not just come like just once a year, but to do, to have this all throughout the year, so that we continue to be strong and that we continue to see FPAC happen for another 25 years um, past this. Okay. So. Well, it, it definitely is exciting. I was crossing my fingers because I was like, it's <laughs> November already. Is FPAC <laughs> happening this year? But guess what? It is definitely happening. Everybody's invited. Mm -hmm. The best part, it's free. free. <laughs> it's free. free. We like that in the community, right? right. So please, uh, support FPAC. Support these young emerging artists. They will be performing here on Kababayan today. It's a special treat. So when we return, you'll get to see excerpts of their performances. All right? and we'll also give you information about how to get tickets if you ever want to uh, if you're in the area or you want to tell your friends about it we'll give you the links to those we'll be right back on Come Bye today